How are you? And welcome back to another YouTube video. My name is Jacob Andrew Sharp, and today, gang, it's it's a doozy, okay? It's a doozy of a video, and we got nuggets in here, okay? We got heaps of nuggets, so make sure you like and subscribe for a lifetime supply of nuggets, okay? Uh, what are nuggets? Trin, what are they? Oh, you're going back to the nugget bit. I can't keep up with the nugget bit. <laughs> No one really can keep up with the nugget bit, and that's why I do it, because no one knows. I'm gonna be freaking doo-doo nuggets. Doo-doo nuggets! All right, today's nuggets are doo-doo flavored, and that's because the content we're looking at is doo-doo. And we're gonna take a look at it with one of my favorite YouTubers, and probably one of the sweetest and nicest people I've ever met. Give it up, everybody, for Trin Lavelle. Welcome to the channel, Trin. Thanks for having me. I'm excited to be here and to slay. Today's nuggets might be doo-doo flavored, but at least uh, the doo-doo is, is very slay. Yeah, the doo-doo is slaying. I mean, let's just do a quick test of the sque screen share. I think I've figured out. Oh, did you? Good. Oh. So can you see that? Yeah. Can you hear? We'll just pick this one. I can hear it. You can hear it? Yes, I can. We did it. Was it like actually awful to figure out or did was it okay? Honestly, it was as simple as me not clicking a thing that I couldn't see on my end, but it was because I was panicking and uh, I was being a little baby. That's literally me in the moment. In the moment, I'll be like, I just can't figure it out. Everything's so stressful. Like I, don't, I need someone to just do it for me. Because uh, being a YouTuber, we don't feel good about ourselves. <laughs> you know who else... We don't feel too good about. He's he's punk rock. He's rap. He's also in Jackass. Who are we talking about, Trin? We're talking about MGK. 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 Yeah. <laughs> I'm in love with an MGK. That's what I am in love with. For a guy who does like really uncomfortable stuff online, uh, he's not bad to look at. Oh, was that a hot take? That was a that was a piping hot take. A piping hot. Oh, jeez, Louise! I'm gonna have to wipe after that hot take. Am I crazy to think that he's like uh, like an okay looking guy? I think he looks like one of my exes. Oh, well then that's <laughs> <laughs> the white guy that broke Trin's heart, or did you break his heart? I'm I'm a heartbreaker, baby. I'm, my heart's never been broken. <laughs> Hell yeah! Hell yeah! And not to mention, he, like, also has, like, so many times where he says that he will, like, he wants to be with underage girls, but... Wait, he says that? Yeah, he said that about Kendall Jenner before she was 18. He was like, I'm gonna fuck. Okay, I don't feel bad about making this video at all. Fuck this guy. No, actually, fuck this guy. So this guy's a fucking creep. See? Not hot. I was wrong. I was wrong. I don't care what my first celebrity crush was, because right now it's Kendall Jenner. Damn it, I've said that so many mother times. I hope that I'm snagging that. Don't let me move to LA. Oof. Are I'm finding down, her. You counting down the days until she's 18? I'm not waiting until she's 18. I'll go now. I'm 23, dog. Like, I'm not like a creepy age. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm 23, bro. She's 17 and she's like a celebrity. Like, there, there's no. There is no limits right there. Robert Plant, who is one of the greatest lead singers ever, for all y'all don't know, he sung for Led Zeppelin, dated a girl that was 14. Axl Rose, who was one of the biggest badasses ever, dated a girl that was 16 and wrote a song on his first album about the girl that was 16. I don't care. Say what you want, man. If Kendall Jenner is in your bedroom naked and you're 50, you're going. So this was when Bird Box came out and I was like, oh my God, who's MGK? Oh. When he was in his acting phase. And I was like, he's kind of cute. And then I learned more about him and then I was like, never mind. Well, well, as soon as you find out anything about what he does in his personal life, the least hot guy on planet earth. Like stinky. Like stinky. <laughs> he's stinky. Stinky. <laughs> more like machine gun stinky. <laughs> P.U. Machine gun stinky. He's just loading up those farts. <laughs> <laughs> That's the rest of the video. It's just you and I doing farts and it's over like pictures of him. Cause that's basically <laughs> the content he gives us. Just shit. Do you know what his real name is? You told me last time and I forgot already. It's like Coleman. Colson, the son of a guy named Cole. <laughs> <laughs> But you have to admit, anyone that changes their name, their basic ass name has to be bad for them to want to change it. Oh, 
Hundred percent. Isn't Tom Cruise is not his actual name? No way. I don't know. I just made that up. I hate Tom Cruise. Fuck Tom Cruise. Fuck Tom Cruise, man. That guy's a weirdo. He's short. I like Scientology. Shut up, man. But we're here to talk about MGK, and we're here to take a look at some of his very uncomfortable content. Are you happy to be taking a break from uh, some movies, and we're going to take a look at the movie that is uh, Machine Gun Kelly's life? I'm I'm really excited, and I'm also excited that we're going to be directing the Machine Gun Kelly biopic coming to you soon in 2024. Oh my god. Yes. Oh my god. I don't know who we're going to get to play MGK. Uh, potentially Jeffree Star. He is Jeffree Star. Oh my god. You take a look at that guy and you tell me that his alter ego isn't jeffree star but jeffree star is like if you took machine gun kelly and stretched out his face but shrunk his body <laughs> when have you ever seen jeffree star and machine gun kelly in the same room it was rumored that jeffree star and kanye west were secretly seeing each other and all of a sudden mgk starts dating megan fox <laughs> they're kind of involved with like a kardashian jenner group you know now that they're all dating emo guys so i'm just saying maybe now that mgk was around that crew maybe that's why the Kim and Kanye broke up. She just couldn't take the pain of seeing Jeffree Star all the time. Exactly. And then Kanye said all that stuff. Kanye said all that stuff. Bruh. I'm going to Instagram. Megan Fox's two star cross lovers. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. The tale of two outcasts. I want to see their downfall. I want to see what happens. Like what's going to happen to make them break up? Well, as if we're talking about their downfall, like it isn't already happening. You guys drank each each other's blood and now one of you has a ring that'll hurt you if you take it off <laughs> really really not so but gut so but you have to admit if they weren't white people would be outraged about that people would be like what this is abuse like they're only getting away with it because they're white and megan fox is hot they're all the only reason they're getting away with it is because they're two white people and they got neat stomachs <laughs> They got flat stomachs and hair. <laughs> and hair. Just shut up, you know? The tale of... <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> okay, okay. We got it. Okay. The tale of two outcasts and star-crossed lovers caught in the throes of a torrid solar flare of a romance featuring... Oh my god. Hold <laughs> Feverish obsession. Guns. Addiction. Shamans. <laughs> Lots of blood. <laughs> General mayhem. Therapy. Tantric night terrors. Binding rituals. Chakra sound baths. Psychedelic hallucinations. Organic smoothies. <laughs> that's, that's how it ends? Oh my god! <laughs> No, girl, you got oh, one. Got one you got one more line, babe. Oh, no, <laughs> I have to. No, no. <laughs> and the kind of sex that would make Lucifer clutch his rosary. Ooh, I can't believe guns is second, <laughs> and second last on that list is organic smoothies. Okay, it is a list, but it's also like, is it supposed to be like a poem or something? <laughs> But what would this fall under? Gabby Hanna? <laughs> Their relationship is the Gabby Hanna of relationships. You can't say organic smoothies and then talk about how this sex would make the devil clutch his rosary? <gasps> oh, that's too hot of sex. Too hot to handle. Lucifer. <laughs> <laughs> too hot to handle season three this time lucifer can't handle it what a basic like high school couple that you probably hated cole and megan cole and megan for sure <laughs> i hated them they would get caught by the biology teacher if they were like i don't know fingering each other's butts in the hall or some shit that's what machine gun kelly and megan fox do like it's like they talk about sex online way too much to not be doing it there's probably like four posts on megan fox's instagram right now of her being like that table got destroyed last night yeah <laughs> 
they're, they're like parents that are talk about sex like way too much. He is a parent. He is a oh yeah. He literally is a parent. I think she is too, right? Oh my god, she literally is. And like they're ruining their kids' lives because they fuck too much and they talk about it too much. And their kids are literally like, Can you guys please shut the fuck up? Please shut the fuck up about how much you guys touch each other's butts. Stop drinking, <laughs> stop drinking blood at dinner, and stop talking about how much you fuck. Stop talking about your guns on Instagram, mom. I'm trying to go to middle school. <laughs> Let's take a look at his silly little TikTok. So this this is the first TikTok he ever posted. I've seen this mute. I've seen this mute many times. Right, you have seen this muted. At first you were just like, oh, haha, he's just standing there rapping. What an idiot. Now please listen to the lyrics. Okay. Oh, wow. That took me t- two listens to really hear it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The, yeah. <laughs> Pussy tastes like candy. Yeah. Tastes like candy. Yeah. 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 Let you call me daddy. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> do you think that uh, that's how he won Megan Fox over? Yes. Do you, and do you think she was like... Like, wooed by the fact that he's like, he thinks my pussy tastes like candy? Oh my god, thank you. Yeah. But also, I'm kind of like, do you think anyone has been, like, with Megan Fox and been like, dang, that pussy tastes gross? Like, do you think she's insecure about that? (laughs) Yeah, I don't think that's... No, I don't think so. I've seen, like, everyone ever online being like, I don't... I would drink her fucking shit. Do you think that she was like, oh my god, I hope he lets me call him daddy? Ooh. Like, ooh. She was like, he's going to let me. I hope I get to taste his blood one day. I thought you were going to say doo-doo. And that's how we're going to see the downfall. We renewed our vows and this time we drank each other's diarrhea. (laughs) Oh my God. (laughs) You know what? Your diarrhea tastes like candy. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) You can call me mommy. Yeah. Yeah. Tastes like chocolate, but worse. (laughs) (laughs) Now we're going to move on to me drops a rock song. Oh, he doesn't rap anymore. Me drops a rap song. Oh, he doesn't do rock anymore. Shut the fuck up. Up, oh, god damn i'm not fucking dying tomorrow i just dropped music do you want to watch it a second time no i got it oh i got it <laughs> do people really say that to him who's saying that no one is there's no way someone's like hold on i thought machine gun kelly was a rapper hold on hold the phone you're coconuts you can't do both pick a lane cole that's what i've always said i think the only thing that people actually do say about his music is that last part where they're like oh, oh. Ugh. He's a pro at botching both punk and rap. Yeah, I don't think anyone's begging for him to come onto either side. It's like the person that gets picked last. You know what I mean? Yep. No, I don't want Cole on my team. <laughs> Coach, can Cole be on his own team? Even like the songs that are like super popular, he always has to have someone like Travis Barker or Willow just to like make sure that people actually like listen to it. Maybe he is like the satanic worshippers that we should be afraid of. That's true. I'm worried he's going to see this and then all of a sudden like I'll get brain cancer again or something. All right. I say it whenever I watch cringy videos but i'm this might be the reason i i got a brain tumor you know i'm just tossing that out there conspiracy in the conspiracy verse you know jacob's tumor was caused by machine gun kelly well did you did you listen to any machine gun kelly songs before you got it nope wait yep yep i did (laughs) yep And that's some medical advice for everybody. Do your own research and blame whatever it is on Machine Gun Kelly. That's your truth. Say it loud, say it proud. Yeah, exactly. I feel bad because I've just blamed cancer on that guy. But whatever. Well, someone's got to do it. Is he upside down? He is upside down. That's like the videos on Twitter you see where it's like a white person doing the most craziest shit ever. And they're like, white people 
are scared of nothing but minorities. Yes, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> just gives me the whole, like, the energy of the kid who would do that, like, on the monkey bars. If he fell, he would, like, knock the wind out of himself. <laughs> and then just be, I-, I think I-, I need to go home. I think I need to get picked up by my mom. Even the caption is just, anyone scared of height? Oh, I didn't even read the caption. Anyone scared of height? I think that backs up our theory again on the jeffree star thing height he's it's it's like messages it's a subliminal message are you scared of height because i'm actually shorter and jeffree star i can morph into jeffree star i'm not scared of height i can go i can go down i can go up i can do it all (laughs) i can go guns i can go organic smoothie all right so this one is the proposal video (gasps) oh These are the star-crossed lovers. So. so this has 31 million views on TikTok. OMG. Right away, great comment. Why is he wearing a referee kit? <laughs> yeah, let's ask the real questions. What's up with that? But then another person. I'm so happy for you both. Name the first kid after me. Shut up. You don't know them. <laughs> and I, and now reading all the comments that people are like, oh my God, I'm so happy for you. I know that we, I guess, this whole video is a hot take. They thought they were the outcasts. We're the outcasts. Wow. Woo-wee. Good tingles in my dingle. <laughs> <laughs> couple, yeah, a couple tingles, couple jingles in the old dingle. You know who's got a couple tingles in their dingle? Lucifer, because that was too hot for that guy. Lucifer on the sidelines, like, wow. So does anyone have a rosary I can clutch? This is driving me bananas. Woo! Woo! They have me locked up. I have to witness them do this all the time. <laughs> Lucifer is crying and screaming in his cage. Exactly, yeah. yeah. <laughs> him and him and Megan switch on and off out of that cage and they switch the rings too. <laughs> like who would get their proposal video and would be like, oh, babe, can we put your song with the massive drum solo in it? I really think our proposal video could use a drum solo. Ooh, not even you. And just this in the background. Say la. You know how everyone was kind of like, uh, Britney Spears, like, blink twice if you're being, like, held hostage, you know? Yeah. I feel like we should be doing that for Megan. Hey, Megan, are you all right? There needs to be a full federal investigation because the ring is really where it gets, like, concerning it is a big ick to be like i don't know like if i had a boyfriend like and they just like sang to me all the time like i feel like i really wouldn't like that it definitely give me the ick if uh my partner was constantly being like your pussy tastes like candy you can call me daddy or maybe she's the one that just really loves his songs the one person i well that's the thing too i feel like you know you become a super fan or a stan of somebody like hardcore and then you like i would love to you know cut them open and take a little sip that's what i've always said puts the lotion on its skin and then it gets or else it gets the hose again type thing that's what i thought about you guys when i went to your comedy show i was like "Mm, the blood (laughs) you you thought that we were buffalo billing each other i wanted to buffalo bill you (laughs) oh okay (laughs) right you're gonna you're gonna make a suit out of youtubers who uh like to make fart jokes on stage yeah like i would take like curtis hair like okay (laughs) Okay, yeah, yeah, no, no, let's do this. I want to know what <laughs> Curtis's hair. Your your face. <gasps> Trin. And then I guess Dean gets the body. Yeah, Dean's body. All right. <laughs> you heard it here first, folks. Someone make that. I'm going to have to make that for the video. And that's the and that's the chore promotion. Si- silence of the boys. Silence of the fellas. And no one would have an issue with that. Because it's the truest collab you guys will ever have. Can I can I say something? Well, I, well going to be what, about what could be worse than you saying you're gonna skin all of us and wear us like a suit? I mean, it's gonna revolve around sex and you guys. That's the these are the progressions of collab. You have comedy tour, threesome, meshing all of you guys together as one. So before you skin us, we have to have <laughs> sex with each other. 
Is that what you're saying? You have to have a... <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. Now that'll give your dingle a dingle. I'll tell you that for free. That'll give my dingle a dingle for sure. <laughs> Me, when I'm like the guy from Human Centipede, where I'm like, this is what has to happen. This is the evolution. I need to get the tingle in my dingle. So I like that their proposal has inspired your true feelings about uh wearing curtis dean and i as a human suit okay oh my god you're literally matching him by the way sorry you're no, wearing the i pink know beanie and he is pink hair I know. <laughs> and i'm and the the nails are the nails are done did and they f- <sighs> you are machine gun Kelly. <laughs> <gasps> i guess i am machine gun kelly i've never seen machine gun kelly and jacob sharp in the same room wait jacob j cole <gasps> <gasps> Wait, I'm J. Cole, the rapper, but as Machine Gun <laughs> Kelly. <laughs> okay. <We're laughs> okay. Okay. Connections. I'm sure you've seen this one because this is like a very popular one, but he's acting kind of like an emo baby. Oh, <laughs> the title Machine Gun Kelly freaks out. Freaks out. <laughs> That's how I title my videos. Well, I'm sure I'm going to name this one like Machine Gun Kelly ruined my life. <laughs> Machine Gun Kelly gave me cancer. <laughs> Machine Gun Kelly gave me cancer. Now, that's, that's clickable. clickable. I got a back end right here for you. No, thank you. Shooting dookies on you. <laughs> Shooting dookies. <laughs> <laughs> all over his face. Shooting dookies all over his face. That's what I've there always done for the, since yeah. the beginning of time. That's what I, yeah, I want to do after watching all these stuff fucking TikToks. Oh my God, guys, why didn't you tell me there was a group of emo guardians on social media declaring what's emo or not and that I didn't make the cut? Emo, 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 emo. So. I cannot believe he's like a real person that like acts like this. Cause I just think it's like, he's old too. He's a dad. He's a father. You know, the emo community can come at me for saying this, but like, you know, you're a grown up dude. Like you're, you're a, you're a parent. Why you don't want to be an emo person. All of a sudden, like his next album was like, I know what emo is. And the cover art is just like, I made you a cookie, but I eat it. Like, that like that <laughs> era of emo fucking you're too old to be emo at that point i think hot take oh man i don't know well, i don't know <laughs> you're right he's too old you i know you have like lower back pain you can't be you cannot be emo while paying child support sorry you can be emo about that be emo about old guy shit <laughs> <laughs> like you can't be <laughs> you can't be writing child support checks and being like you're in love with an emo girl like you need to fall in love with a woman. Bingo. Bingo. That's exactly it, Trent. Bingo. Yeah, get the fuck out of here, you fucking disgusting pervert. Like, what are you talking about girls for? How about I fell in love with doing my taxes? I fell in love with packing my kids' lunch. I fell in love with uh, having proper insurance for my car. <laughs> like, How about that? How about that? How about we talk about that? You can't be punk rock when you have uh, all your pills lined up for the week. I guess then we can't be emo. Yeah, that's true because I, 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 my pills are lined up. <laughs> also, what am I talking about? I did the oldest guy thing of all time by getting cancer. Yeah, emos don't get cancer. There you go. This is full of hot takes. This is incredible. You said it, Trent. The emo community it rejects it. So yeah, what? How do you feel after all this? How do you feel? I feel good, but I feel drained. I feel like someone just sucked the life force out of me. Yeah, I feel dirty. I feel dirty, stinky, and like I have to take a shit. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, we gotta go shoot some dookies. Y- you can't say creepy shit like that and then and then go back online and be like, no, I'm emo. You can't try to infantilize yourself and try to act like you're a teenager when you were a predator. And you're the reason Com- Kim and Kanye broke up. And you're the reason I have a brain cancer. I have a brain cancer. <laughs> MGK, let's cut this shit out. Shit. Piece of shit. Grow the fuck up. Me cutting the shit. Cutting the shit wide open and taking a little drink. So, <laughs> thanks for doing this video, buddy. Thanks for making some sillies and uh, laughing at this silly little content. Of course. That's what I do. Calling out another creep. That's what my channel is all about. Calling out men and asking them to be better. So, everyone, make sure you go check out Trin's videos because uh, they're incredible. If uh, you love commentary and if you love movie content, Trin is the person to, to watch because she's the fucking queen of movies in my opinion go check out trin at trin lavelle on youtube go check her out on instagram and twitter and uh don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel because subscribing to videos by jacob andrew sharp guarantees you a lifetime supply of nuggets sometimes the nuggets are duty flavored sometimes you need to drink that duty yes sir 
we got to get out of here because we need to go find out what it really means to be emo. I do. I do too. I think I need to go uh, actually shoot a hot dookie because another 8 p.m. coffee really did it to me. Dookie Shooter Club. Okay. Okay. Bye. Bye.